Hey there, it's Heel Toe Automotive, and in amongst all this shipping, I realized that we've got two different sorts of Clutchmasters clutches here uh, for J Series V6s, and I thought that I'd give you a little bit of an overview of the difference between these two. One of the important things that I really want to nail down for you is while these are for different applications, they're both for J Series, but this one is for a uh, later style J Series that's a 07 and up TL or an 08 up Accord. Basically, we could call it a 3.5 five liter clutch, whereas this one is actually for an 0407 TL, 03 CL, or three liter Accord, which would be like a 03 to 07 Accord. Uh, so it's a, it's a little bit different application, but surprisingly, they're actually very similar. Well, let me show you this one first. So this is one that uh, is basically a returned item so it's outside of the packaging but it's got kind of an interesting design to it which you can see here a self-adjusting style pressure plate and the way these works is there's a little screw jack in here somewhere and as you push the pedal uh, the diaphragm is going to compress and every time it compresses it it's going to ratchet itself a little bit closer to the flywheel and you can kind of see that inside here there's another assembly that kind of turns and the reason why it does that is as the friction disc wears out you will have a consistent pedal feel and a consistent uh, pedal height and pedal pressure these uh, pressure plates are meant to adjust themselves so that you have basically the same feel and hold from the beginning of the clutch life all the way to the end it's a really neat idea but it also kind of sucks a little bit because people get these installed wrong like all the time. I just recently was underneath a 07 TL Type S and there's a sticker on there that says, please refer to the service manual for correct clutch installation. And I think it's because a lot of people come back claiming, oh my, my dude's an Acura master tech and whatever. And you know what? You can take all that away. You know, people just slam these on and, and think that they've installed it correctly. Uh, you'll get some weird pedal feel afterwards if it's not set right. Like one of the things you can see right here is these uh, springs here are preloaded, which means that this pressure plate is all the way ratcheted open and it's ready to be installed. You know, if the thing's been messed around with at all and, uh, and these are out, these little preload springs will be opened up and that clutch is just not ready to be installed. So anyway, before you go ahead and put one of these in, make sure you're doing it right, that your uh, Acura Master Tech knows how to read a service manual first. Now, part of the reason why uh, these clutches are problematic in the aftermarket is because you can't really modify these pressure plates very well. I think Clutch Masters has been doing that for a while, but they've been kind of unreliable at best from what we hear. It's a little bit hearsay because like I said, there's a lot of installation issues that happen, but what they tried to do is actually absolve some of this by going to a different style of pressure plate, which is um, a non-self-adjusting style or something a little bit more conventional. Uh, where people don't have to worry so much about this issue of, you know, is my pressure plate adjusted correctly. So this is their newer style, which believe it or not, they actually retain the same part numbers, you know, right, wrong, or otherwise. It's obviously a different, a different kit. And this is an 08040, and this is a 08028. So even though they're different, they, they, really normally would look the same because they're both J-Series uh, pressure plates. But you can see this one is a much more conventional design. It doesn't have any of the self-adjusting baloney involved. And uh, yeah, so basically if you've heard of people having problems with uh, Clutch Master's clutch on a J-Series, it's probably because they've had this one and either there might have been something wrong with the pressure plate, which Clutch Master's is always fixed for people if there ever was a problem. That's our experience, but you know, they also get installed wrong a lot of the times too. If you've heard people whining about a, a Clutch Master's clutch issue, they probably have one of these, which, you know, and I think from 2016 and on, you'd actually get one that looks like this. So I would say, yeah, definitely try to specify, if at all possible, that you'll be getting a clutch that has the non-self-adjusting style. Just another footnote, they come with a bearing. These are like OE bearings, and a clutch alignment tool and a pilot bearing. 
this particular kit came with a, a flywheel, um, but we, we sell those as well. You can see Osco is our preferred brand of flywheel. And uh, these things are just awesome looking. Something else that I thought I might point out is that uh, this one has its own part number engraved on it and we can get replacement uh, faces for these if you provide that part number to us. So um, yeah, the Clutch Masters ones come with aluminum flywheels. Um, you know, they won't tell you it's the same as an Osco one, but they're really similar at least. Uh, they're high performance, uh, machined very well and they're gonna provide a lot more acceleration. So uh, basically that's it. I just kinda wanted to show you the difference between what a self-adjusting pressure plate looked like and a non-self-adjusting pressure plate. Hopefully that was relatively informative for you. Yeah, if you need either one of these clutches, definitely let us know. I think other companies doing the non-self-adjusting style, uh, spec clutch has gone to this style. Accelerate performance is private labeling through um, what's it called? South Bend Clutch. South Bend has their own clutch, which is a self-adjusting, but then the Accelerate one is non-SAC. Um, yeah, most of all of the aftermarket clutches you find are going to be like this, except for if you get an OE replacement, it'll be uh, one of these most likely. Which, again, there's nothing really wrong with these on the whole, but <laughs> yeah, for performance, you're much better off with one of with one of those. So if you're unsure at all about which one you're gonna get, just uh, hit up Peel Toe, and we'll definitely be uh, in your corner making sure that you get exactly the best thing for your sports performance or even just OE replacement needs. Have a great day.